Hello again, Dr. John Webster. Welcome to my day. Today I'm going to talk about ear infections. This is sometimes controversial, but as I always do, I rely on the anatomy. The anatomy proves me right. So I have a picture. This is out of an anatomy book, and you can see, you can see the ears. Okay, so this is the outside of the ear, and then this is the eardrum. Any fluid that collects behind the eardrum goes down through the station, station tube and drains into the back of the throat. That's why sometimes if we feel our ears pop or something, we have to swallow because fluid is coming through this tube. Notice how this tube has muscles around it. Just like your, if you go into the bright sunlight, your pupils constrict. If you go into a dark room, they dilate. If your blood vessels sometimes can constrict or dilate. Same thing for this tube. So the muscles around that tube are controlled by a nerve. And guess where that nerve comes from? The neck. And research proves it. So if that little infant or toddler or whomever has had any kind of you know misalignment in the neck, maybe from sleeping wrong or a fall of some kind, and there's pressure on that tube, that muscle will contract and it will prevent the fluid from draining and it backs up. And it makes the eardrum swell up. And that's why they do, you know, the antibiotics and the tubes in the ears. So if you have a child or know someone who has a child that's having a problem with their ears, please consider this. Bring them to a chiropractor. You may be very surprised. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.